the doctor looked me in the eye and she said, this could be HIV. And that moment, I felt still cold, almost felt like stone. Because to her and with her professional analysis, I could have HIV. To add a little bit of context to the situation, I was sick at the end of last year, um, end of 2020, and I went to the to this doctor, and um, she felt my lymph nodes, and she uh, looked at a whole other bunch of things. She said I looked a bit um, like grayish in my skin tone, and she came to, to one of her conclusions was that I could have HIV because I wasn't presenting anything else, and. You know, as a second year med student, um, as a young Saidi, as someone who's been educated in various um, institutions, my whole world almost came crashing down because you're expected to know. And it was like, obviously it wasn't a certain diagnosis. She said it could be, she wasn't exactly sure. But it was like, knowing that this could be you, like it could be you. You hear stories about people having HIV, maybe like a distant family member, but you was world shattering. And um, I think for a lot of reasons, I felt scared, almost alone, isolated. And the realization came that even with all the knowledge I have and um, People that know me know that I love talking about um, sex, sexual interactions. Even all, with all that knowledge, I'm still being able to, you know, be susceptible to this virus. And even so, I started I, before I went to the doctor. I was googling. I was like, I felt sick. My lymph node is swollen. My neck. What's happening to me? And you know, Google said get cancer. Google said HIV off the bat, and I was freaking out. I felt alone. And looking back on that. I've decided to finally, you know, do this. And what this exactly is I'm doing is I'm, I want to talk about it. I want to talk about sex. I want to talk about the experience of sex. I want to talk about the experience of youth, us having sex now with our partners, with ourselves. Essentially, I want to do a series of videos that give us the sexual education, the sex ed we wish we had. So this is that, I guess. Sex ed you wish you had with the one and only Young Eden Said. So let's backtrack a bit, right? What exactly is HIV and AIDS? So HIV was discovered around, around, around about 1981 in California when a bunch of doctors and scientists did tests on homosexual men who had AIDS, right? And what AIDS is essentially, you have a weakened immune system. So your immune system cannot fight against other viruses. And you normally end up dying or becoming very sick from a secondary virus such as tuberculosis or TB if you have AIDS, right? Um, and so they found a lot of homosexual people in that area had AIDS. And so they studied them and they found out that this AIDS was due to a virus called AIDS, which they would soon name HIV, right? Human infection a human efficient immunodeficient disorder excuse me so what this virus uh, essentially is right it's a microorganism that moves around in your body and uses your own body cells to reproduce right and a lot of people don't know is think it's just a virus that goes inside it reproduces and what it, what it's doing is it's going to your cell right injecting its own viral genome right its own dna into your cells using your own cells because you know your cells have to reproduce themselves right you know dna replication then cell reproduction right using that process it re replicates itself within you and then eventually causes the death of that cell and then spreads to the rest of the other cells in your body that's how hiv works right um and you know this the messed up parts and you know i guess the messed up history of uh medicine But you know, here we are. Um, the messed up part is that it was done on homosexual, um, the studies were done on homosexual men, but later they would find out that everyone is susceptible to HIV and um, 
essentially they only manifested the study um, in homosexual men because the history of medicine is questionable. But here we are, and here we are to change that, right? So, why exactly am I doing this? Why exactly am I sharing this knowledge with you? Um, and in the way that I'm doing it, right? The reason is, I feel like as the youth, this is the time where a lot of us start having sexual interactions. And the word interactions is not a mistake, right? I'm using interactions on purpose because sex is, as we know it, which is actually wrong, as we know it is, you know, penis and vagina, which really is not all sex is, right? I use sexual interactions because sex can be between males, females, uh, transgender males transgender females it can be two multiple partners could be having sex at the same time right it it can it doesn't have to be limited to what a conservative understanding of sexual interactions are so that's why i use the, the word interaction and um i think that a lot of us are starting to have those interactions round about now round about plus minus our 20s and a lot of us feel alone we feel like we don't have anyone to walk this journey with us because we don't speak about sex and i think if i can provide a platform that we can do that we can all have the most healthy safe most enjoyable sexual experiences and understandings of our body and and, and sexual developments as, as possible if we do it together and we understand it and um, we really break it down thoroughly so that's why i'll be doing a whole series of videos this Ladies and gentlemen, is just an intro, right? Because like, why do we have to be watching, you know, the American like um, middle-aged people explain sex to us? Like, that's the only resource we have as as youth. And you know, what what how we can't really relate to that. I want to be interacting with you, right? I'm gonna be interacting with someone in America across the ocean who I can barely ask questions to, right? Me and you, we can go to Starbucks right now. We can have a coffee. We can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's, and I think that's what we need to do as youth and as a society that we can transcend um, a lot of the sexual issues that live within our communities today. Um, yeah, so that's why I've decided to do this. And it's, I'm, I'm really excited to get started. My next video will be um, on masturbation. It's coming out very soon, probably come out tomorrow. We'll see. So that's the plan and let's get it going. I mean, if you have any questions, down in the comments below let's get it started and i think it's very important like to to share this video because if you share this you never you don't know whose life you could be saving and you think i'm being dramatic i'm not sex is a matter of life and death we're here because of sex a lot of people leave this earth because of sex i'm gonna leave you with four things right and these are my four principles to having the best sex possible first consent right the first sexy principle we have is consent there's no good sexual interaction without consent the second one which is also extremely important is safety right the third sexy uh, principle we have is respect now respect is extremely extremely important because if we implement respect, we will always have consent. We will always be safe. We will respect ourselves, respect our partners, respect the interaction. And respect allows us to enjoy the motherfucker. And that's the fourth one. Enjoy it, right? I guess a lot of some of you might have stayed to the end of the video for this. To hear my diagnosis, um, I did get tested. Um, and happily, for, for me and for my health, I tested negative for HIV and I tested negative for coronavirus at the time as well so you know love it you know love to see it we good um yeah that's that's all for me right now if you like this video if you're gonna have safe consensual sex tonight like this video um if you're gonna be you know engaging in interesting new sexual interactions share this video and if you're curious and you want to know more comment down below and let's start the conversation thank you guys so much